So we have this data set. It scores from a driver's test for 19 different people. And um, we, ha we graphed it on what's called a dot plot. So there's each of these dots represents one driver and what their score was. So this represents a driver with a score of 25, and this represents a driver with a score of 5. So the question we have here is, are there outliers? Now, if you remember, an outlier basically is some value that is way outside the actual normal distribution of this data. So we would say there's like this huge cluster of people right around here, and then the data gets really spread out. So some of these numbers may be outliers, which means that they're just like way outside the norm. And we use outliers to figure out things like maybe maybe they actually a lot of times there was a miscalculation. You know, they, they meant to write down 42, but they wrote down four. And so it looks like this data is way far away from all the numbers that are like 50 and 60, right? So a lot of times we use outliers to decide that. Sometimes we use outliers just to figure out that like once in a while, there's somebody who gets five on their driver's test. It's not very normal. And so this really skews our data. And so we use outliers later in statistics to think about that. But for today, all we're gonna do is figure out if a number is an outlier. And so when you're looking at this, you might would discuss with your friends, cause I know you discuss statistics for fun, which number is an outlier and which one's not. And someone might say, well, 19 is an outlier and 15 and 10 and seven and five is an outlier because these are all outside of this um, cluster of data. Somebody else might say, well, no, 19 is really close, but these four are. And someone might say, well, just these three are. And someone might say, these two. So, you know, like at some point, it, what, how far away does it have to be to be considered an outlier? So statistic, statisticians had to make a decision. They had to say, like, this is going to be considered an outlier. Um, and so they made a rule and they said, if, if a number falls within this rule, we're going to call it an outlier. And the rule is called the 1.5 IQR rule for outliers. So if you remember, IQR stands for interquartile range. So that's the spread from the bottom quartile, quartile one, all the way to the top quartile, quartile three. So we're looking at how, you know, we're taking this interquartile range and we're using that to determine whether there's an outlier. So imagine we just have this data set here. We have this our interquartile range, remember, is this middle portion. Um, say this number is three and this number is seven. So what's our interquartile range? Well, it's four, right? It's four units from one to the other. So 50% of our data falls within four units of, um, of the median. So, well, not four units of the median, it's two to the, you know, anyway. I digress. So what they said is if we take this interquartile range and we multiply it by one and a half, so we multiply that by 1.5, which is why it's called the 1.5 IQR rule, and then that equals six, right? So four times one and a half is six. And then we said if a number is, you go from quartile three and you go six this way, which is 1.5 times the IQR, so if we go six this way, or if we go six this way, which is again, 1.5 times IQR, then that number would be considered an outlier. So if the number is out here anywhere or out here anywhere, it's an outlier, right? If it falls within one and a half interquartile ranges of the um, lower quartile or the upper quartile, then it is not an outlier. It's just a number that's still in our data set. But if it's further away from this lower quartile than one and a half times the IQR, then it's an outlier. And same here, if you get further away than one and a half times the IQR, then that one would also be considered an outlier.